Come on up, Mark, Raphael. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Happy Thursday. I'm joined by Council Members Traeger and Espinal, and more members will be coming in. On today's stated agenda from the Finance Committee, the Council will vote on introduction number 1780, sponsored by Council Member Drum and supported by the administration, which will extend the current rate of the additional tax on occupancy of hotel rooms at 5.878% through November 30th, 2023. There are three pre considered resolutions sponsored by our finance chair, Chair Drum, which together will be adopted for fiscal. 2020 property tax rates provide tax relief to class one and class two homeowners because of the council's action. One rate will rise by only 1.2 percent over the 2019 rates instead of 6.3 percent, thereby saving typical homeowners. Been since fiscal year 2009. There is Jake two in Councilmember Tanique Miller's district in Queens. It's going to receive a 40 year. Uh, article 11 property tax exemption on two land use parcels F and G, which will allow the development of two mixed use buildings and create 850 affordable housing units. And the other one is action Northern Boulevard rezoning with affordable housing. Uh, in a district, and 4797 Third Avenue. It's a technical adjustment in Council Member Torres' district. And finally, there is the East Coast critical and visionary approach towards climate resiliency that will to realize uh, much needed infrastructure improvement to reduce flood risk, improve access to the waterfront. And I first want to call up Councilman well, but I want to we'll join uh, Councilman Lander. I want to call up Councilman Rivera. Close to resiliency project. Thank you. Echo. We are doing this today with our vote for the East South Coast and their tireless efforts and negotiations alongside me for a project that includes near our community repository. Since the city wasn't following. Data supporting the project. This plan was also the most adaptable for future. We are all trying to depend on it. Safe and timely ESCR construction plan use of the FDR drive. And the breadth of these investments can be seen in the many groups. We have NYCHA leaders, Little League directors. It's going to provide a historic finally putting forward a project that will protect our community, but it will build project as well. Manhattan, so we did to future residents. But the most vulnerable resident. Council of America. That's not goes unrecognized. And thank you for your leadership against storm.
power for construction and mitigation. Perry Clinton Park, Coleman Park, Tannen Hill Park, Alfred LaGuardia Bathhouse got torn down, Lee and the attention they deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Or is on the east side coast. And I want to save a special member. Said already, but today's vote allows us to provide unprecedented. I think every single person and all the different Cove Park uh, do repair um, for other communities that uh, are joined by uh, Councilman Rose. Um, and the damage and the rebuilding to and it's used that our communities have to East River Park which was slated to be closed to the entire later who worked on this I want to say I had a sit in for their district and I think this plan gets to well not always perfect gets to work to get to here of resiliency here for the city. So thank you. Uh, 50 sessions. Councilmember Levin is not here, but when he's here, I invite him to come up on the rate of diabetes-related health and invite him up to speak on this important piece of legislation. Uh, an area in which the health outcomes are He has healthy, fresh, affordable food in their neighborhood uh, at a time. Uh, really detailed breakdown of 61. Uh, Bill, do you want to come up and talk about that? Thank you, Speaker. Um, so this is a uh, really um, concentrated in communities of color. Around New York's four uh, one o'clock on a Saturday night is no real way to to. Well, to the speaker, uh, sponsored by Council, Post receiving such direction. The legislation also provides a cause of action. I possess and a companion animal and grant. Injunctive and declared throughout each borough have acted. Mark Traeger, introduction 1554B. Demographic. The required bills uh, aimed at increasing. staff and city schools this will include teach to reflect the rich diversity of our student popula uh, population and to validate the experiences and the location to expand its current student demographic reporting within schools from an ethnic demographic thing that is faced can be changed but no speaker said we continue to have some of the most segregated schools Honestly, and a lot of good. The School Diversity Accountability Act that I sponsored, the and profound impacts this year, whereas last year only that data every year. They. 